Alright, 2-5, get your hero license. Okay, this is this is this is gonna be a level. I can tell you right now, this is this is gonna be a level. How long is it? 38 seconds? Okay. Wink. 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 Yep. Yeah, there we go. Alright. <gasps> I missed the spring jump! I missed the spring jump! a rough uh, situation to get ourselves out of. Pick up the spring, drop the spring into the lava again. So one thing that uh, I think is, is getting me here is I'm not running as far to the right when throwing the spring as I should be doing because I'm a little bit afraid of that icicle. So I see this icicle right here and I don't want to run towards it fast to th throw the spring, throw the spring with the speed I'm supposed to be throwing the spring. I'm a little bit afraid of that icicle. And stuff like that comes up a lot in life. You know, you you're a little bit hesitant to do something because there's something that scares you. But in this case, I have to, I just have to grow. I have to become a little bit more comfortable with, with getting myself closer to that icicle, even though, yes, it scares me, even though, yes, I'm afraid it could cause me to screw up. But the fear, the hesitation of screwing up is what's causing me to screw up way more than, than running into the icicle would. I don't think I've died from running into that icicle even once yet. Let's go ahead this time, and we're not going to pay any mind to the icicle at all. We're just going to ignore that the icicle is there. We're going to play this as if there was no icicle. We're going to play, you know, really aggressively going into where that icicle is. If we hit it, we hit it. You know what? That's fine. We haven't we haven't died from hitting the icicle yet. And I think, I think just by not treating that uh, icicle as this giant obstacle in my way, that we're going to make it this time. Like that, and boom. I did a full height jump. I've, I've never done a full height jump. I've always hesitated because I was afraid of that icicle. And then boom, the first time I do that full height jump, I make it. So now this area looks interesting. So this is a huge change up from how the, uh, the, the first half of the level was. Huge change up. I haven't found any red coins yet. Maybe I was wrong about where the red coins were. Maybe you have the key? Oh, you have a key, okay. Well then this isn't the red coin section yet. Ah! Close, okay. You're very close. Okay, here's the red coins. Well, that was a nice little thing, like, I could have jumped up all the way there, or I could just poke my head up. Now, once I've jumped up all the way, I'm stuck up here and I have to get over this guy, and this could be a little bit of a difficult obstacle to some people. So a great thing is I was able to get that red coin just by poking my head up a little bit. You'll always be looking for creative ways to solve your problem. Because if you find a creative solution to a problem, maybe that saves you from having to do something a little bit more difficult later on. All right, here we go, here we go. Fires. Let's go. I don't like this boom boom situation we got here. I don't like this one bit. Go under him, go under him. Oh, this is this is a really tricky boss fight. They give you very little room to maneuver. This is this is probably the most difficult part of the level so far. There we go. There we go. Now, oh, 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 he's running amok. All right, we got him, we got him, we got him. Go, go, go. It's done! We did it! We did it! We did it! Woo! Hero! I love that ending. Hero! Because at the end, we persevered through everything, we overcame a lot of difficulties, a lot of obstacles. And I mean, that is kind of the essence of what makes a hero. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in more content like this, please remember to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.